Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Mr. Game Changer, and we are back once again with more Metal Gear Solid 3, because I cannot get enough of this game. I have decided to come back once again, and we're going to do Ghost Run. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Sorry, I got something in my mouth. It's crazy. Um, we're going to use our uh, save that we got Foxhound on because of all the cameras. After the end of World War II. Now, I do have some requirements for me in order to make this um, fair. Uh, I'm not allowed to use the spider camo unless it seems like there is no other way for me to sneak past an area. So if it's like inconceivably hard for me to do something without it, then I will put it on. Um, and that's just like a last resort to see if it's even possible. Now there are a few places like the, um, the scientist and Granin's research facility that I'm going to have to think about. It's not... It's going to be pretty difficult for me to abstain whether or not it's impossible or not until I get there. And we will test it. We will see if it's possible or not. However, with this first part, I believe it is possible to get through all this without uh, alerting a single guard. But we will have to see. It will do... Or, I should say, it will take quite a bit of attempt. I am not the best at this game. Even after getting Fox found, there are plenty better than me. But we will see if we can ghost, or however much of this game is possible to be ghosted. So let us commence. Snake? So a ghost run uh, does not allow us to be even, like, spotted. So with that in mind, we are going to attempt to go at this without being spotted or without even creating suspicion. If suspicion is created, then we will have to give ourselves up for the, the map area. So far, so decent. Now, I'm really concerned about the bridge coming up because I don't even know how on earth I'm going to do that. Alright, so that is one stage down without creating any type of suspicion.
Nah, suspicion. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. Heard us. I think I might cook a grenade next time. Do I even have a grenade? I do not. Probably should have took the time to get some from Alligator Place. It's alright, we will find a way. Just as I was about to get the the camo switched, I'll do it slightly earlier with that in mind. Maybe we could try a different approach. Sad. I didn't even see the guy there. Oh well. Oh, did, he, did that guy spot me? Oh, suspicion! And from the guy on the bridge too. Okay, so whenever I get there, do not let go of that wall until I am confident that man cannot see me. Okay, we got this, guys. We got this. Ooh, I'm excited. Ghost run, here we come. Gosh. Alright, we rushed. We got this. We got this. I know we do. We <laughs> I know we do. Okay, okay. Alright. Stop telling me the Wi-Fi is lost. I get it. Alright. And then we're going to fall down. Okay, okay. Make our way across. They don't see a thing. Alright, up, up, up. I'm gonna come down. Scoot across on the wall. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Now we just need to see where this guy is. Okay, he's heading that way. Let's hurry. Come on. He doesn't see a thing. He's clueless. That's two down, baby. Let's go. Oh, that was fun doing. Man, this, I wasn't expecting it to be so fun, but that... Like, slowly learning the process over time? Man, that's amazing. 
Or are we unable to do that because of the bed? Whew, I don't remember. But we're gonna check it. We're gonna check it. Oh, he can't go through it. Oh no! He's still looking over there. Okay. He... Okay, so I have a very short window. Wow. Uh... Snake! You alright? New idea. That seems like too short of a window for that to be pur purposeful. Uh... Let's go from the other way. If you remember back to how I beat the Ocelot you, most times, there's another vent that leads out, like to a side area. I believe there's a guard that's there. However, I feel like it would be much more favorable to handle that guard and uh, move around the side instead of having to worry about, what, three different guards line of sight? And also, it seems like I have a uh, longer grace period than I do with that one. With that one, I'd probably end up having to use the spirit camo in order to get across quick enough. Which, you know, if possible, it'd probably be a good idea to stick to, uh, camo so you don't have to go to New Game Plus. Although I don't know if the Fleck Tarn is one of the ones you have to get from New Game Plus. It seems like it wouldn't be, though. So we're gonna roll with it. Let's head underneath. Ooh, another route we could also try is the roof. Let's try the roof. I can't tell exactly where this guy is. Okay. With that guy right there is going to be a slight issue if he stays there. Okay, okay. That's definitely enough time to make it up. Let's go ahead and head back and uh, make sure that we stay hidden. But that seems like definitely enough time for me to get up the ladder if I wanted to. It seems like based off of that patrol, I could also go right there if I really wanted to, too. Hmm. This is going to be fun dissecting like guard patterns and routes. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and head up. Okay. Now we can use a uh, square in splitter face camo. Yeah! Now we're talking. So if I can make it down without hearing the hall, that means that this is good. Where is this guard at? Alright, I see him. Let's wait for this guy to look away. Where is this guy looking? He's looking away as well. Yes! So that's... That's quiet, that's quiet, that's ghost! Let's go! Okay. Alright. I'm happy, guys. Now this is when the fun begins. Because it may get difficult, and it may get tough, but we got this... in... stuff. Yeah! Now, I know I can wait until, like, this phase is over with, but where's the fun in that? Oh, oh, I see the issue. Oh, no. What the? Yeah, that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh. I think once that guy turns around, I need to stand up and run immediately. And like, run... away. Or maybe, uh, if I really want to, I could even challenge and head that way. Or like, the other way. That one guy that was walking around, I could challenge that guy instead. Oh. But let's try this again. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Get down, snake. For this guy. There we go. I love the caution theme so much. I don't know if you guys have heard me say that enough times. mode. It is nice to see the guards cooperate like that. I really like that. Reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 2's like thumbs up means good to go and all that. Alright, we're making our way downtown. Another part that is ghosted. This isn't ideal to be this close to a guard. Did he get suspicious? Alright, he did. Oh! 
probably shouldn't have moved, but I was like, he's close. You know, if I just like slither away like a snake, he won't see me, right? Oh, I thought he was just far enough. I started panicking. Snake! Everything was getting low. It's alright. It's alright. So unfortunate. But I'm kind of thinking now, changing my strategy. The guy goes far enough ahead to where if I anticipate this and basically stalk him from behind. I think it will be doable for me to do the uh, the same type of thing I did last time, where I just jumped off the edge. So let's wait for this guy to go back on his route that he was doing. So you see like the ledge right there that we used to get down during uh, the Virtuous mission? I think we can get to that ledge pretty quickly. If not with this one, then definitely with the Thero camo. But like I said, I don't want to try and avoid using those if possible. Now that I think about it, because some people might not like the fact that I'm using those. It'd be seen as a bit of a cheat. So let's go ahead and make our way downtown. And I don't think we should be visible, but who knows? <clears throat> I know the guard here. Ooh. I was gonna say the guard here patrols this path. Now I don't think he goes far enough for me to get past him. But if I stay up here. and use this time to come down and go to where I normally would. And he's already heading the other way. Okay. That's another ghosted area. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Big B. Back to it, we're on the other side of the swamp. And this is an area I'm not sure how to approach. So the issue is um, two guard dogs and a person. Let's examine the fence and see what type of different ways they have for us to go around. Excuse me.
All right, looking at the pattern, the dog walks around in like this circle. So whenever the dog's looking that way, you need to climb that tree ASAP. Because I believe the dog will be looking that way as this dog comes this way. Alright, Snake, you can jump off now, buddy. Alright, let's go from behind. Alright, looks like we got around the dog. Or dogs, I should say. But we're on this side of the fence. And I'm really not too sure how we're gonna get around this guy, because usually they're pretty adept in noticing this side of the fence. Try and get away from the guide before he sees me. Alright, let us head in. Try and sneak in right behind this dog if possible. All right, that's another key. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So I assume the easy route is this way, maybe. So he's turned around. Now we need to wait for this other guy to turn around. time and effort put into that one too. Oh, maybe that's not the correct way then. Cause that felt like a lot of effort to get seen from too many places. 
Although I probably could have been faster with it. So I think I'm going to attempt to head around this way. Oh, I didn't expect them to turn this way. I was really hoping you'd head back the other way. Alright, so we're slowly learning patrol routes. Looks like he comes this way pretty fast. Come on, Snake, get back to hiding. No, oh, he didn't turn around, man. Come on, Snake, turn your body around. He would have done it too, but his, like foot or something got stuck on the tree, and so he just kept on going backwards. And I figured at that point, might as well try and do it instead of like turning around, because then I would have gotten caught anyways. It's all your fault, Snake. You got your fat legs and fat butt cheeks. Leave. So we're gonna stay inside this brush until he does his rounds again. And then I wonder what type of camo I'm gonna need for that area. See that guy in the distance? Alright, I'm in 95 camo index. Should not be seen here. But I'm kind of scared. He's heading right this way. Ooh, stay strong, Snake. Ooh, ooh wee. Okay, that scared me. That, that got my heart pumping a little bit. I was like, I'm pretty sure. He's turned around. He said, dun 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 you know that one part and like Metal Gear 2 Whenever the guy just instantly turns around 
That's what that reminded me of. See that patch of greenery right there? Where is this guard right here at? You think this guy ever turns away? See, I think this would be perfect if the sky was not looking like right here. Maybe having better camouflage in soil? Alright. Just slowly crawl. No need to disturb the environment around us at all, Snake. That's what I'm talking about. Right, we are back after the pain, and we are going to the next area with soldiers. So now from here it's pretty simple, I'll be using the same strat that I used in my Foxhound and just normal playthrough. I'm going to be putting on the croc cap, and we're going to be swimming under the water until we reach the very end. Now we start getting into the, might be a little bit difficult, uh, area. Now this is going to be a difficult one, because there's not a lot of places for us to go, but there's a lot of places for us to be caught. So let's just take a minute and examine their routes. Ah, uh, he spotted us. But we got a decent idea going here. Because he was the only one that spotted us. I think I'm gonna head that way and head behind that barrel. Alright. I am not going to go over there and hide behind the barrel because that guy is going to see me. Let's head back to our spot of praying and waiting.
possibly whenever he goes to looking away. That might be a good opportunity to head that way. So he's turned this way, can't jump. That guy barely moves at that point. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see if we can go the way I wanted to the last time, whenever I thought it was gonna work. It does. Let's go! That's very tight though if I have to. If I had to guess, if I waited like half a second more, probably would have gotten a haw out of that. Whew, that got me uh, a little bit shaky. Now we get to do probably my favorite part. Yay. If you haven't watched uh, my other playthroughs of this, the warehouse is not a, a good place for me. Ah. I was trying to jump over the railing, but unfortunate. Ah, uh, did that guy see it? No, it's from the- Oh, it's from that guy up top! I knew those guys would be an issue, but I was really hoping... It would be... Not down there. I think we'll have a decent chance of going across now. Huh? Damn, that guy I jump scared me because I was like... Nah, I took him out of the equation. I was focused up there to see where he got caught. And I guess I got too excited. I was just about to deploy the box. Just like half a millisecond away from pressing my left trigger. Oh, what? Did the guy up top see me that time? Man, if it's not one, it's the other. Oh, come on, I was, like I said, milliseconds away from pressing R2. In fact, that time I did, but I just got overridden by the alert. What the frick? Ah, uh, I got seen by that guy again. I tried riding the wall closer so he didn't see me, and like, his, a his FOV goes from all the way up there 
straight to Ground Zero, apparently. Because he was basically, like, on the plane as... the same plane as me, and he spotted me. That is crazy. Alright, if he sees it, then the strat will not work. He does it. Oh. 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 Oh no, oh no. I'm sorry. I thought I was good to go because no Snake. one was looking except for the one dude I could not Snake. see. Snake. Man. All four people have to be looking in the like different places just for you to be able to move up those stairs. The guy turned around! God damn it! That's exactly what I was afraid of too, because I saw him! He reached the end of his patrol route, and I knew he was bound to turn around at any... Hmm... 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 Sorry, that, that's frustrating though! Four people you have to be on the lookout for, man! I'm starting to think it might be impossible for this room. Unless you do like cheapskate with the fears camo. But that might be the only freaking way. That's crazy. And if you do it with the fear, you know, it's a lot more simple. You don't have to wait for the perfect moment to where everyone's looking away for you to be able to make a move. We'll keep on trying. Let's see how much time we've spent. 30 minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> that last attempt nearly got me in tears because I was like on top of the ball. At least in my opinion. Like it, like I'm saying, if I could get up to that second platform and be able to see all, like everyone clearly, we would be good. You don't have much time at all with that one guy's patrols.
focus. Like there, being able to see up top would be so nice. Now I know that guy down there is no longer a factor in this. box so my hope is that whenever he's turned around looking that way I will slowly inch this box that way This is like the moment of truth right here. Like as soon as he passes by, I need to start moving. Because I believe that if at any point, like I stop, he can see me, that becomes an issue. But I need to start like, basically as soon as I can. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we did it! You got... Oh my god. That was stressful. Wow. But it's possible. Not... 
It's not something easy to do by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, this is like plan E on stuff for you to do for that room. But it is possible to ghost it. However, from what I'm seeing, you need the box. Because there's so many different, like, moving parts. Four moving parts at the bottom level and halfway through. All of those are affecting, like, your route. However, once you get to the top, it's pretty simple. You only really have one variable if you're careful. Um, but with the box, you can mitigate some variables. So if one variable is favorable, you can move. If it's not, you don't have to. So if you do decide to ghost run that, you need to have picked up the box uh, at Razvet. I think that's the name of the map. Or wherever you meet Sokolov slash Eva. You need the box. But it is possible on um, a new game because my camouflage never came into the question.